This is a behind the scenes tour about a new discovery to be published in Current Biology. My name is Sheila Paddock, and I'm a professor in the biology department at Duke University. A few years ago, colleagues sent us a video of this remarkable little crustacean snapping its claw, a claw that is reaching almost a third of its body mass. Our colleagues sent us this because my lab is best known for studying the fastest and smallest creatures on the planet. And they were curious, and so were we, about how this system worked and how fast it was going. Before we knew it, two colleagues joined us out at the Duke Marine Lab in coastal North Carolina. Professor Rich Palmer at the University of Alberta in Canada and his postdoc, Dr. Tomonari Kaji from Japan, came out to help us find and study these amazing creatures. Grace Farley and I went out and started to search the docks off the coast of uh, North Carolina, in particular at the Marine Lab, to see if we could find these little crustaceans in the algae. And sure enough, they were there, hidden away in a remarkable ecosystem of many different species living in the red algae off of these docks and throughout North Carolina and the coast of the United States. These tiny crustaceans have these huge claws relative to their body size, but the claw itself could almost fit in the eye of a needle. The claws are spectacular with a process called the dactyl that snaps open and closed. They use these claws when they're fighting and interacting either with their own species or other species, which meant that we could set up a filming apparatus to actually see what these movements were, were doing. This is Dr. Kaji and Grace Farley getting the very first videos ever filmed that we know of at fully high speed imaging capabilities. This is our 2 million frames per second high speed video camera running at 300,000 frames per second to capture this movement. And we did. The movements are spectacular, tiny, and fast. And once we had this, we were celebrating because we knew that we had the ability to start studying a new system, not just found here on coastal United States, but throughout the world and Japan. This brought in my whole lab and the project was led by Dr. Sarah Longo, a former postdoc in my lab, with team members such as Jacob Harrison and Billy Ray joining in to generate a complete data set that revealed other phenomena like the formation and collapse of cavitation bubbles during these snaps. We went out to the marine lab many times, the whole team, and soon Justin Jorge also became involved, an expert on filming small, fast systems. What we found is that these dactyl snaps sit right at the boundary of what we know is possible in biology in terms of extremely high acceleration, very small mass systems that can be used over and over again without self-destructing. These accelerations are so extreme, they're close to the acceleration of a bullet in a gun and represent speeds equivalent to cars on a highway. So this remarkable little creature launched with a uh, remarkable video from international colleagues set off what we now know to be a new model system in small, fast creatures. I want to end by acknowledging the amazing contributions of Tomonari Kaji to this collaboration and men many other studies on the remarkable morphology and capability of crustaceans. He passed away during this project, and so we want to honor him and his contributions here.